dear learners this video is an overview of the course pedagogy of english watch carefully so after clicking uh, on the course you will find your course main page so the first uh, section is your introduction section where uh, you will go uh, through the introduction video here is the course description and then you will find the objectives of the course then evaluation scheme uh, we have formative as well as summative assessment 40 percent this course uh, consists of uh, four credit and 100 marks and uh, uh, the marks are bifurcated in uh, uh, you you can see 40 percent for formative assessment and uh, for summative assessment 60 percent uh, there are reference books also you can find your content uh, uh, in these books and these books are available in our library also uh, for any uh, uh, support or if you have any doubt or queries uh, my contact number since i am the course instructor my email id along with my contact number and timing is already mentioned here you can download your syllabus from here and for any technical support you can contact uh, this person the name uh, is already mentioned here along with the email id and mobile number uh, for library support uh, you can uh, contact to mr sunil bhat he is the senior librarian and his email id along with mobile number is also mentioned here then for other supports uh, you uh, the person concerned is uh, the person uh, contact number is mentioned here she is mrs sarpana call and uh, there are some academic writing guidelines also given here like uh, uh, that will be helpful in your preparation for the assignments how you are going to prepare your assignments and uh, so the uh, these material uh, will be uh, helpful to you and then we have course announcement now uh, after course announcement uh, here you will find when the course is going to be started and other uh, announcements uh, that will be done uh, from time to time by the course facilitator after that uh, you will uh, come to the self introduction forum where you are supposed to post your introduction and then you have a, a student uh, uh, glossary where you can post your queries you are supposed to make two entries here here you have uh, your uh, link for google classroom and uh, then uh, for uh, uh, joining the uh, uh, online sessions you have google meet link and for every virtual session you have to use the same url for joining uh, you have course live chat also and it is available for all students you can discuss your doubts and queries here then we have learning support forum if you need any support from your facilitator you can post your questions here your doubts here and then uh, we have uh, another forum that is uh, required for uh, all students uh, to access and to and to uh, uh, to do the activities so after that uh, we have a course schedule also uh, under the schedule you will find the information regarding the opening and closing of the modules when the modules are starting and uh, closing accordingly you have to uh, complete your activities and uh, um, assignments and then uh, you have student orientation uh, uh, faq here you will find uh, uh, the solution of all your uh, questions uh, in submission of assignments or how you can navigate your other activities how you can uh, participate in the forums how you will join the google classroom or even your virtual classrooms so every uh, answer each answer is mentioned here so you can uh, uh, click here and you will find the solution for your all the uh, queries so uh, this is a student orientation faq now uh, coming to the course back again you will uh, you can see after uh, going through uh, your 
student orientation uh, FAQs, uh, then um, you have to attempt uh, uh, before start. Now we have module one. That is the title of the module is fundamentals of language. So here uh, you can see um, each module uh, has separate learning objectives. So read these objectives carefully and then you have evaluation scheme. Uh, and uh, under the evaluation scheme, uh, what type of activities you are supposed to perform is mentioned here. And for uh, separate modules, uh, books are mentioned here uh, along with the uh, links. Uh, that when you will uh, click on the books uh, that are included uh, in the module, you will find the links for the resources to access. Then you have a pre-class test. Before starting the activities of the uh, module 1, you have to, you are required to attempt this pre-class uh, test. And without completion of this test, the other activities under module 1 will not be visible to you. So for learning resources, uh, you, uh, you need to click on this book module, like uh, just I'm showing you, you can, uh, yes. So these are the uh, links for the resources that uh, you need to access, you need to uh, read for the completion of the activity. So in each module uh, the learning resources are provided and uh, then after um, completion of uh, the book module then you are supposed to uh, perform the activities supposed to uh, complete your activities like you you have your short answer questions uh, uh, on the topic nature and functions of language you have some uh, interactive activities also like true false and drag and drop activities and then after uh, you you are supposed to attempt the quiz role, uh, on the topic role of language in life intellectual emotional social and cultural development uh, you are also supposed to participate in uh, this poll and uh, then uh, other activities are there like drag and drop activity and at the end of the module you have a, an assignment and that you are supposed to submit within the stipulated time and the uh, word limit is also mentioned here now in the submission of the assignments uh, like uh, i'm clicking here showing you you can see there is a comment block here you can post your uh, queries related to this assignment these assignments in the, um, uh, each assignment you have this box and uh, if you are facing any problem in submission of assignment you can post your queries here and now uh, you can see the uh, opening of the um, assignment uh, that date is mentioned here and due date is also included now the most important thing regarding the assignments is that uh, these assignments will be evaluated on the basis of some rubrics that are already mentioned here and you need to go through uh, 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 on uh, those rubrics and read them carefully and accordingly prepare your assignments so um, this is about the assignment now after completion of the assignments you are supposed to provide your feedback at the end of the module and uh, <coughs> sorry in uh, uh, each module you have a feedback uh, uh, section and that you uh, are required to uh, complete so you can see here uh, okay so here um, this is the feedback for module one accordingly in each module there is a feedback and these are uh, the uh, activities uh, under second module here is the video again assignment and other activities you can see fill in the blanks and true and false and quiz so uh, each module is very interactive and um, in each module you have assignments and feedback so uh, this is all about uh, uh, the various activities and resources uh, under uh, these four modules now the most important thing is uh, if you want to um, access these activities um, you have two options uh, either you click 
on the activities one by one individually on the course main page or uh, these activities are available in these blocks also so from here also you can uh, navigate your activities like for assignments you can click here and then uh, chats are there choices like uh, you uh, are supposed to participate in the polls under choices you have polls and then after feedback uh, forums are also accessible from here and then h5p content like you have interactive activities the, uh, those activities can be accessed from here and then quizzes and resource material also so this is the second option uh, where uh, uh, through which you can uh, complete your activities and uh, this is all about uh, this course so learn and enjoy thank you so much